Hello and welcome back to Sparta. Now, when we left off, we were in Delos and we were attempting to defend it, but that is just not going to happen. It is really just not going to happen. So I decided, hey, you know what? We're just going to leave it and we're going to come back to Spartan territory and we're going to try and eliminate the other factions in the area that are just on the brink of destruction, basically. So what we're going to do is we're just going to try and take the two remaining fiefs from the Achaean city-states, they are the ones that are uh, very, very close to elimination. And then from there, we will try to attack the Delian League once again. And you may be asking yourself, why am I in this battle right now? Well, this is actually a battle against a patrol of the Achaean city-states. And there's a reason why I'm doing this. I'm doing this because there are... 185 prisoners up for rescue in their army and that is exactly what we're going to be doing here so hopefully we're going to be okay to uh, take these guys out i've got to get a bit more used to playing sparta it's been a long time since i played the mod because of course i've been playing the iron man challenge and if you want to check that out then it's on the channel there's a very recent episode of it it's Highly recommended to check it out from episode one if you want to because it uh, tends to explain all of the rules and the various other things that we've gone through over the period of time that the series has been going on. Otherwise, we are just going to absolutely murder everyone here. These guys can't do anything. It's just literally a, an absolute massacre. They will not be able to do anything against us because the enemy patrol is so badly geared. It's just really, really badly geared. They don't have a lot of high-tier units, and I, I, I think they could probably kill me. You know, they could probably kill me pretty easily if they get me with a javelin or something like that. But most of these guys are... Oh, oh, okay, yep, hello. <laughs> Speaking of a javelin, yes, thank you. Thank you very much. Great. Well, let's just try and prevent ourselves from dying here. And maybe... Just maybe get a couple of kills in the process. Gonna actually just tell my people to charge in now. It is going to end our formation, but that is perfectly acceptable to eliminate the last remaining little bit of the enemy here. And then we'll go back into a formation just when we get over the hill, I think. Maybe something like this. Maybe we'll do that. And then we'll go into complex formations, shield wall once again. There we go. That is going to help us to sustain ourselves, get a little bit more survivability, and we will attack the archery division. There we go. Let's hopefully... Oh, that was close. Okay, almost got murdered. Almost got murdered by those javelins right there. Got to be careful. Oh, and my spear now broke. Fantastic. I do have a two-handed axe, but as I've said, the two-handed axe is... Not something I would use against highly armored units. I'd use it against these guys, because these guys are... Well, lightly armored, quite obviously. I don't have a huge amount in proficiency, you know, two-handed proficiency, that is. So, yeah, it is a bit difficult to use. And otherwise, I do have some throwing weapons. So, maybe I should use some of those. Oh, is, is someone running? Oh, no, maybe not. Maybe not. He's, he's deciding not to run. Oh, we took him down. Did you see that? I actually threw it at him while we were in... Close proximity to our own units, that would have really been very bad if I hit one of my own, but thankfully I didn't. Anyway, there's only four enemies remaining, and I think we've got this. I think we've got this. No problem at all. There we go. Alright, so we didn't lose that many. We killed 185, and we gained 8 Renown, 21 Morale. Very nice indeed, and now this is the main reason why I wanted to do this. Just look at all of these units right here. Look at how many we have available. And I mean, even the farmers are going to be pretty useful. Because we can level those up, or we can put them in the garrison somewhere nearby. And they can uh, make our garrisons much, much harder to get into. And otherwise, there you go. I'm really, really pleased about this. Because now we have a grand army of 442. It's just so crazy to do that. That is just really, really cool. So otherwise, uh, this is where we currently are. And uh, we are going to be attempting to take this. This is our main area that we want to take right now. And, aha! Oh, that's actually not something I wanted. 
<laughs> oh well, never mind. I actually don't even mind about this so much. I was actually going to do this myself. But as you could see, the uh, Etolian city-states have appeared out of nowhere, and they've decided to do it themselves, which is fine, which is absolutely fine. As you can see, we actually still have Delos. Delos is still ours at the moment, and uh, th there's a reason for that. Shortly after I left, my recruiters actually did manage to get in there and add to the garrison. So I'm actually unsure what's going on with it now, because uh, the Spartans also sent, w sent word, basically, that they were going to go and try to defend Delos. And I'm actually unsure. Am I the, Am I still the... Uh, yes, I am the Lord of Delos. Well, that is not particularly good, is it? No, it's not particularly good that I just left it. But, well, there's not much I could do about it, to be honest. I was up against how many? Like 2,000 units? I think that's a bit too much for one person to deal with. But otherwise, uh, let's have a look here in the garrison. Do the farmers level up? No, they do not. Okay, farmers and peasant women can just go into the town garrison. And what else do we have here? We got these guys. Uh, I think, you know what? We're just going to keep those guys. We're just going to keep all those. And we'll just continue to level up our forces. These guys level up really nicely in these battles. And we are going to level up this guy. Okay, so what is he actually good at? Not much, not much. So I guess, I guess we'll just give him the standard power strike, power, power flesh. Yes, I keep wanting to say power flesh. It should be power flesh in my opinion, rather than iron flesh. But oh well, that's just me. And uh, thankfully, we do have some pretty decent medical companions as well. So I'm hopeful that the Italian uh, city states will take this, and then we will hopefully be able to take uh, Aegeon ourselves. Maybe, because as you can see, that is the last remaining two fiefs that the Achaean city-states actually have control over. And I was actually thinking of taking something here and something there as well from the Delian League. I think that might make sense too, because we can then expand our territory in that direction, and we can then maybe expand our territory over here after that. So we kind of reduce the, the amount of targets that are going to be selected by the AI, or potentially selected by the AI at least. So maybe that will be an idea. Otherwise, let's have a look-see here. Oh, this is, yeah, this is not particularly good. Uh, hmm. Does this mod have troop trees? I think it does. Pretty sure it does. Yeah, easy. All right, so let's, uh, let's take a quick look at the... Achaean city-states. There we go. All right. So we're going to just take a quick look here and see what kind of units are in the garrison here. Because I, I thought that... Ah, they have a lot of these. Okay, so let's have a quick look what they have now. Uh, they have 68 high-tier guys, by by my reckoning. Uh, what am I looking for here? So we're looking for Ekritos Dorifos guys. Doriforos. Oh, yeah. Just excuse my pronunciation and otherwise we have those guys there uh-huh uh-huh okay okay so okay hopefully i'll be able to remember ah oh, they don't have any of those by the looks of things okay so they have a couple of high tier guys but otherwise there doesn't seem to be anything that there that can really damage us and they do have 141 in their prison and that is going to make a big difference so Let's do it. Why not? Let's do it. It's going to take 32 hours to build some ladders, but that's okay. Maybe they're going to come out and they're going to say hi to us. I mean, if they do say hi, I, I'm pretty happy with that. You know, I don't particularly mind. And I'm very much hoping, yeah, look at that. We should ride to break the siege of Delos. So they're still doing that. And I'm hopeful that they will be able to. But if they don't, then that's absolutely fine. Oh, Autocles. Autocles is of the Delian League has been taken prisoner by the Spartans, which is just crazy. All right, so we can actually already go in here. I suppose we should already go in. Let's do it. Okay, this is actually going to be pretty cool because if the Aetolian uh, city-states can eliminate the other fief that I was actually planning on taking myself, then uh, we're going to be in a really, really good position here. And I'm actually just going to continue telling my people to charge in because we can't use complex formations or anything like that in a siege. 
otherwise I'm pretty happy with uh, my current setup right here. I think I've got some pretty decent armor, got a nice helm. Uh, I think the one thing that I should really do is switch out my two-handed axe. I think the two-handed axe is, while it's fun to use, it's a little bit slow and does make things quite difficult for me when in regards to defense. And it's kind of difficult to actually get your shield out from a two-handed standpoint. So that's a bit of an issue. But apart from that, I think we should be fine with what we're what we're given here. And we're going to be even finer once we have uh, taken this particular fee from these guys. Look at this. They're just standing here letting me poke them in the back. Yes. Well, they probably enjoy it a little bit. But anyway, let's just try and uh, do a little bit of damage here and there. Try and take out that guy. Because uh, these guys right here, these guys with the uh, the helmets, a similar helmet to, to ours, you know, they, uh, they're going to be pretty damaging. So we've got to try and eliminate those as best we can. And it seems like we have. Look at that. We already eliminated them so incredibly quickly. I like it. Oh, it seems like there's a, a, an invisible wall here. Yeah, look at this. There's actually an invisible wall right here. So that's the reason why I can't be moving over a little bit. Which is absolutely fine. I don't mind those invisible walls. As long as it doesn't stop me from jumping off somewhere and killing myself. Because that's generally what I tend to do. <laughs> in those in those kinds of situations. I'm, I'm always like, is there an invisible wall here? And then all of a sudden, I'm like, yes, apparently there isn't. So now I'm going to be falling off the edge. Yeah, that happens. And speaking of falling off the edge, what do you think in the Iron Man challenge? If, you, if you've been watching the Iron Man challenge, what do you think I'm going to die from? I'm probably going to die from falling off a ladder. That is more than likely. Anyway, we'll see. <laughs> Otherwise, oh, there we go. Nice. And we can maybe take, take him out as well for a little bit of extra experience. And it seems like our forces are doing fantastically so far. Most of my guys are, of course, from Sparta itself. And I've done a... I've tried to do a decent job in regards to getting those guys leveled up as much as possible. And getting them support basically because those guys are just fantastic and really much better than most of what you're going to be getting in sparta so it's a good idea to use them as much as you can otherwise we're just going to try and eliminate some of these skirmishers because i don't really want them doing massive damage to us from far distance there we go nice little bit of damage there i do have my two-handed axe i could use this is that an enemy i think so Okay, you're, you're not going to hit me before I hit you, are you? <laughs> no, certainly not. Take that. Oh, yes. Did you see that? I think I I think I hit him in the knee. So it wasn't an arrow. It was something else. So, yeah. Anyway. Uh, how are we doing so far? Actually, pretty well. Look at that. Yeah, pretty well. I think the main reason why we're able to do that is literally because of the low-tier nature of of the opponent. It seems like most of their units are pretty low tier and not very well armored either, so it's kind of easy for us to deal significant damage to them. Is that mine? Yeah, that is actually mine. Yeah, I, I uh, of course have rescued a couple of units and uh, seeing some of those new units in the fight is a bit confusing. <laughs> a bit confusing at times. So... We'll see how that goes over time, and uh, I will be m most likely putting them in the garrison after this. I'm actually wondering who's who right now. Hmm, there we go. Seems like everyone's, every one of the enemy is dead. Now, we are going to be receiving many, many enemy reinforcements, which is a bit of a problem here. And I'm actually thinking that my tactic, for the most part, is going to be basically placing my units way back but the thing with that is that then all of the all of the skirmishers and the javelin throwers and things like that are going to be holding position way back at their initial spawn point so what i'm going to do is we're actually going to do this thing where i'm going to place my basically i'm going to place everyone at the very beginning we're going to just basically move all the way back to the beginning and we'll try and deal some damage to people along the way as well Maybe, if I can. Uh, 
maybe my uh, my people will be able to survive as well. Yes, seems like most of them are now back here, which is fantastic. And now we basically just do the same thing over again, where we just charge straight through all of the places where they're going to spawn. Because I have found in the past, it is not a good idea to charge all the way in to the enemy spawn area. Because if you do that, you're going to get overwhelmed and eventually all of your really high tier units are going to just die from the sheer numbers and from basically a death of a thousand cuts. That's basically how it's gonna go. And I don't really want that to happen this time around. So I'm going to try a little bit of a different strategy this time. I think it will work quite nicely. It's just a, uh, a matter of keeping a hold on things and knowing exactly where the enemies are and knowing exactly what I need to do to keep my allies alive. And that is the thing that is going to keep our casualties as low as possible. Of course, once the enemy doesn't have too many left over on the battlefield, then of course we're going to be doing something a little bit different and we will try to uh, charge straight at them and we'll see what, what happens there. But I really just don't want to lose more of those really good Spartan units. It takes a long time to level up any of those guys. So it is definitely something that you want to be a bit careful of, especially if you're playing like me with the Spartans themselves. All right, so this is a little bit further on in the siege. And I decided, hey, you know what? I'm just going to cut out a little bit of the fight because it does get a little bit lengthy. Otherwise, uh, yeah, as you can see here, we have kind of overextended ourselves a little bit. And that was for a very good reason actually because we were pushing the advantage and we were getting quite a few kills over deaths and now I've just realized that we are receiving some reinforcements so what I'm going to be doing instead is waiting for our reinforcements to arrive and then we will once again charge back in. As you can see my, my forces are trying to retreat relatively well so far. Is that? Oh that's one of, that's one of mine. Okay well that's good to know. Good to know. Okay, so I'm definitely going to just try and survive here as well, because if I die, that's not going to be very good. I think the, uh, actually, you know the Iron Man challenge? I think that has actually helped my my uh, survivability by a pretty considerable amount, because I have been playing very, very carefully in comparison to usual. But me saying that now and then end up dying, wouldn't that be amusing? Yes, that would be very amusing indeed. So let's just hopefully... <laughs> prevent myself from dying by sending in my forces once again. Thankfully this shield is absolutely crazy and is extremely defensive. So I really, I, I don't think this shield can be destroyed very easily, if at all, because it does have a very high resistance. So that is pretty cool. I like it. Otherwise, let's just continue onward. How many have we eliminated so far? Yeah, look at that. 485 and counting. And uh, we're, we're, bound to, uh, we're bound to get the, the victory, I think. If the enemies would stop coming. Well, uh, speaking of me getting myself eliminated, yeah, I actually did end up dying, and it was a pretty senseless death, really. I got shot by a javelin thrower. Otherwise, there you go. We eliminated all of those guys, and we now have to crush any remaining ex any, any remaining resistance, which is going to be a bit um, a bit difficult because I think the enemy is going to be a bit or our allies are going to be a bit weird about it. As you can see, this guy is trying to kill them through the wall, which is not a good idea. <laughs> not a good idea at all, so I'm actually going to have to do this myself, which is bad. I could technically tell them to follow me, which might make sense. But I'm just going to eliminate them a little bit easier just by doing that. That is a little simple and uh, maybe easier than asking my guys for help. But there you go, another 45 renown. I mean, we gained 45 renown from the first round. Now this is the 40, 45 for the second. And all of these guys are probably, oh no, they're actually, they're actually gonna be, uh, you know, 
coming with us. <laughs> a, couple, a couple of them will be coming with us, at least. I might actually let this guy go, because he has a good personality. So we're just going to let him go. We'll let this guy go as well, because we are rolling in cash right now. So there's really no need for me to desperately hang on to any prisoners that I gain. So not really a big deal. Otherwise, let's just gain every single rescued prisoner that we can get our hands on. This is looking good. Oh, yeah. We got so many. My goodness. That's crazy. And then we'll take a couple of these guys. And I don't even know who's really that good. I've forgotten now, but I guess we'll just take some randoms. There we go. And, ooh, that's actually a really nice helm, but it is not as good as what, I, what I'm using. But it's really nice to sell, nevertheless. So we'll just take a couple of those. Anyway, I am not actually going to be requesting that this be awarded to me because it is a castle. And uh, I'm not a, not a big fan of keeping castles. So we're just going to uh, do what we can to give it to someone else. And we will actually end up staying here for a bit of time because you never know when there will be someone that we'll want to attack. Okay, so we should prepare to defend Delos, but we should gather our forces until we are strong enough. Right, so yeah, Delos is currently still having a siege there, but it seems like the Spartans did actually... Uh, oh, yes. Oh, fantastic. Okay, so yeah, we took back now Pactos, as I, as I said beforehand, and I did not think that I was actually going to get this awarded to me. I really didn't, but it is the same fief that we had beforehand and was taken by the Delian League. And look at this, the Spartans are absolutely murdering the Delian League right now, which is just crazy good. All right, so otherwise, let's just get a couple of recruiters to go out here, and then we will hopefully have a significant garrison, at least a little bit, and we're also going to place a couple of these guys in there. I'm actually going to keep these, and we'll just put the, the rabble the, the rabble in there. And there we go. Just trying to keep the ones that I actually want to see in the fights. These guys, not so much. There we are. And I think that is looking pretty good. Okay, fantastic. Now I could put these guys in the garrison here. And uh, I think it has a prisoner tower, I hope. Does it? It doesn't. Oh, that's really bad. But it's only si it's 62 days. It is just so incredibly long the amount of time that it will take. And we've already put 109 people in there, which is pretty good. I think no one is really going to besiege that anymore anyway, because the Delian League is currently having their... Look at that. Delos is no longer under siege. That is crazy. Okay, so we actually have three towns under our control right now, which is Petrae, Naupactos, and Delos, which is just insane. The Spartans did such an amazing job of defending right there. And it's, it's kind of sad, really, because I left because it didn't seem like anyone was going to be helping us. But now, it seems like they have. So it's pretty crazy. Okay, so I'll tell you what. Once I have completed the defense of Aegeon, which is where we currently are, I'm going to go over to Delos and see if I can reinforce the garrison there. And then we'll probably try to expand Sparta a little bit more. And they're offering me 1400 That is really bad, <laughs> but I'm going to take it because I don't really want to lose any honor. How much honor do I even have right now? 24. Yeah, I've got a really low honor rating, but I guess it doesn't really matter specifically in this mod because uh, we're already part of the, of the Spartans. And uh, I don't think we're going to be creating our own faction. I'm not entirely sure about that. But uh, at the moment, it seems to me like it would be a lot more fun to help the Spartans to actually take over the entire map. I think that would be quite fun. And there you go. He has now finally awarded Aegeon to someone. And we're now still gaining 66,000 because Petrae is now giving me 21,000. Now Pactos, 32,000. Delos did reduce its status down to poor instead of average. So we are still getting a little bit less there. But that's absolutely fine. I don't really mind that so much. Okay, so let's go back to Delos and see what's actually happening there. And uh, we'll see if I can maybe lend 
a little bit of assistance, maybe. Uh, the Spartans really did an absolutely fantastic job there. I have 392 units, and I have 843 army size. And there's a reason for that. You know why? It's because of the amount of towns that I now have, which is just insane. All right, so how much do I have in the way of morale boosters? I've actually got a pretty decent amount of morale boosters in my inventory, so that is kind of weird. I'm actually kind of surprised that we're not getting a good amount of morale from these things. Very surprising, actually. Huh. I don't exactly know what I'm supposed to do because I have ale. I've got a whole bunch of ale, got some wine. I don't have ale, so I'm going to buy some more ale. I have some ale, actually, but oh well. Never mind. we got some wine. Uh, I guess we should buy some fish. Buy some grain. I mean, what what else can I do? What else can I do there? I don't know. But uh, I already have something here. Yes, I already do. Okay, so yeah. Otherwise, let's make our way over. Let's make our way over. I was a bit worried about the below average morale that we currently have. And uh, I would assume the reason for that is that we had, just have such a large army at the moment. And generally, you really only want to take an army this large when you're going to be besieging something. As you can see, we're now ending up losing a lot of good troops right there. But hopefully, we'll be able to make it to Delos in time. Delos has been besieged again. So maybe we'll be able to intercept a little bit and see what's going on. We're losing more people. Really? Again? I'm actually really surprised that they, they are losing so many so quickly. But okay. Weird. Oh, well. Never mind. Okay, so let's see, have a look-see here. Uh-huh. Yeah, that's a 1,000 units against 128. I'm not going to go in there. I'm not going to go in there to defend against a 1,000. That's just way too much. The battle advantage is just going to be insane, and we're going to have a similar situation to last time where we were outnumbered so significantly that we had about 15 units against 130 on the battlefield. So that's definitely something I'm not going to do, but... I'm kind of weirded out that the Spartans have now disappeared. Isn't that hilarious? I make my way all the way over here, and then they are nowhere to be found. Oh well, never mind. That will be it for this episode. I thank you very much for watching, and I will see you next time.